So where was the first CNC hobbing machine built? Hmm. That's an interesting question. Gear machines share a different history, generally speaking, than mills and lays. Somewhat different. Was this somewhere in Germany or Italy or England or the USA? Is this uh, factory here in Chemnitz, Germany, big enough to house it? Mills had already been uh, CNC'd by the 50s. What about that factory in Ludwigsburg? Or what about in the Milan Turin Genoa Triangle, somewhere in Milan? Or what about the birthplace of the Industrial Revolution? What about Manchester, England? There's plenty of uh, fantastic machining that's happened there. Or did it wait until it came to the United States? Maybe somewhere in Rochester, in that big factory. Well, the winner is Ludwigsburg, Germany. It's the second Fowder factory. Second one they owned, I think, is proper here. Their first factory was in Chemnitz, Germany. This is a picture from 1908, but they started as early as 1900. And you can see it's a large brick structure. Uh, there's a, a smokestack in the back. And, uh, you know, kind of an interesting structure just, just by itself. Now, this is uh, from a 1950 catalog, but this is a picture from the Chemnitz factory from 1938. And you can see just the, the middle portion of that factory was added onto substantially. See the smokestack? But none of these physical things really have meaning or cause anything to happen unless you have the drive and vision of the founder. So that's what Mr. Fowder did. He was very intent on this. He invented the first machine. Unfortunately, he died untimely at a very young age and his wife, Clara, really carried the torch. In fact, to some of the most uh, productive years in the Chemnitz factory. She had four Fowder sons to help her do these tasks. And uh, but what a wonderful job she did. The Chemnitz factory as it looks today is a brick frontage. These bricks on the left, uh, on the first left, you can match those up, up to some of the previous photos. And there's really not a lot of hint of Fowder on this factory, but if you look carefully in that uh, portal where the door is, there's a little ornamental type of uh, decoration there, which is really an ode to Fowder and what uh, occurred in these walls a long time ago. So here's the very first prototype that Fowder built in his garage, 1897, true entrepreneurial style. Note the uh, cone for different belts for power on the far right. After the war, the previous workers for Fowder, Fowderians came to rebuild the factory. So here's the Ludwigsburg plant that they had to go to after World War II, and this is where it eventually was built. Standing on the shoulders of Fowder and his first crew, and then all the sons of Fowder, there were four. And this uh, machine finally came to life in 1975. Quite an accomplishment. You can see Ludwigsburg, Chemnitz, and Paris on this Europe map. And this is where all of the, the trade shows, these are the roads to the trade show to Emo that uh, actually just ended recently in Paris. And so this is where they would uh, go to advertise, take their machinery and show the world what it could do. Fowder always had a great sense of marketing and you know graphics here. Here's their original trademark uh, logo that you see on all their machinery. Ludwigsburg factory from the ground and some of the area around Ludwigsburg, uh, beautiful German countryside here. And then here's a side by side of those two machines that span a very short history of 78 years between uh, invention and then CNC. So it's been a very quick and rapid uh, progression to get to where we are today. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and we'll get back to you real soon with some machine. Thanks again.